Welcome to a lesson on the null space of a matrix. This lesson will show how to check to see if a given vector is in the null space of a matrix, how to find the spanning set of a null space, and also how to find a basis for a null space. Let A be an M by N matrix, then the null space of A is the set of all vectors X in Rn such that matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, which means to check to see if a given vector is in the null space of a matrix, we check the vector equation a times vector x equals zero, where vector x would be the given vector. If a times vector x equals a zero vector, then the vector is in the null space of the matrix. If a times vector x is not equal to the zero vector, the vector is not in the null space of the matrix. Let's take a look at an example. Below we are given matrix A and asked to determine if the following vectors are in the null space of A which means you need to check a times vector u and a times vector v to see if the products are equal to the zero vector. So for vector u, we have again matrix a times vector u, and for vector v, we have a times vector v. Next, we determine the products. Notice a times vector u is equal to the zero vector, which indicates vector u is in the null space of matrix a. Also notice how a times vector v is not equal to the zero vector, which indicates vector v is not in the null space of A. And now let's find the spanning set of a null space and a basis for a null space. To find the spanning set of a null space, we solve the homogeneous vector equation a times vector x equals the zero vector. The spanning set contains all the vectors x in Rn that satisfy the homogeneous vector equation. The spanning set contains one vector for each free variable. If there are no free variables when solving AX equals zero, then the only vector in the null space of A is a zero vector, and AX equals zero has only the trivial solution. Once we have the spanning set for the null space of A, the vectors in the spanning set form a basis for the null space of A. Let's take a look at an example. We are given matrix A and asked to find the spanning set of the null space of A and a basis for the null space of A. We begin by setting up the equation matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector. A couple things to notice here, matrix A is a three by four matrix. When multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Notice vector X must have four components written here as a four by one column matrix. Also notice how the product is equal to a three by one matrix, or in our case, the zero vector in R3. So the vectors x on the left are in R4, and the zero vector on the right is in R3. The next step in solving the equation is to write the corresponding augmented matrix. The first row is negative two, negative three, four, five, zero. The second row is one, two, zero, negative one, zero. And the third row is two, four, zero, negative two, zero. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here on the right. Let's go ahead and label the first four columns, x sub one through x sub four. We have pivots in row one, column one, and row two, column two, which indicates x sub one and x sub two are the basic variables, and x sub three and x sub four are the free variables. So because we have two free variables, we know the spanning set will contain two vectors. The first row indicates that x sub one minus eight x sub three minus seven x sub four is equal to zero, or x sub one is equal to eight x sub three plus seven x sub four. The second row indicates that x sub two plus four x sub three plus three x sub four equals zero, or x sub two is equal to negative four x sub three minus three x sub four x sub three and x sub four are free variables. x sub three is equal to x sub three. x sub four is equal to x sub four. So all the vectors that satisfy the equation, matrix A times vector x equals the zero vector, are the vectors x one, x two, x three, x four, where x one, again, is equal to eight x sub three, plus seven x sub four. X sub two is equal to negative four x sub three minus three x sub four. 
and x sub 3 is equal to x sub 3, x sub 4 is equal to x sub 4. And now let's write this as a linear combination of two vectors where we have x sub 3 times a vector formed using the coefficients of x sub 3, which are 8, negative 4, 1, 0, plus x sub 4 times a vector formed using the coefficients of x sub 4, which are 7, negative 3, 0, 1. This is the information we need in order to find the spanning set of the null space of A, as well as a basis for the null space of A. Since the solutions to the equation matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector is equal to the linear combinations of the vectors 8, negative 4, 1, 0, and 7, negative 3, 0, 1, we can say the null space equals the span of these two vectors. And related, we can also say a basis for the null space of A is the set of these two vectors. These two statements are related, but by saying that the null space of A equals the span of these two vectors, all the linear combinations of these two vectors make up the null space of A. And by stating a basis for the null space of A is equal to the set of these two vectors, these two vectors span the null space and are independent and any vector in the null space of A can be written as a linear combination of these two vectors. I hope you found this helpful.